Hi, I'm Adam with Yukana HKN, and today we're going to be doing current dividers. Now, what is a current divider? Why would we want to use it? Well, we have this circuit over here, and we have a source current, IS, and we want to find this current, IX, through the resistance, RX, but then we have all these other resistances over here. Well, there is a formula for this, and it is called the current divider formula. It goes a little something like this. We have IX, which is equal to IS, times our equivalent, RX, our equivalent again. But what is our equivalent? Well, that's these three resistors seen going in here. So combined into one resistor. Now how can we do that? Well, as we can see, they're in parallel. So what do we do with resistors in parallel? We find their equivalent resistance, which is why we called it our EQ, or our equivalent. So how do we do that? Well, 1 over R EQ, R1, plus 1 over R2, plus 1 over R3. And we all know how to do this if we've done parallel resistor resistors before. We just R E Q is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. And then we have our equivalent resistance. Let's do a quick problem just to see this in action. Let's uh, put some values up on the board there. What can we do? Let's try to make it easy. We have the source current. Let's make that just one, one amp. I'll use a different color for you guys, because you're special. We have one amp. Uh, we'll put one, one ohm here as a resistance. Mm, three ohms here, three ohms here, and three ohms there. So we see our formula, Ix equals Is times R equivalent over Rx plus R equivalent. So what can we do first? We know Is, that's one amp. We know Rx, that's one ohm. We need to find R equivalent. So what do we do? We have this formula over here, R equivalent. But we don't really need the formula. We know how to solve resistors in parallel, right? We have 3, negative 1, plus 3, negative 1, plus 3 to the negative 1, negative 1. And if we have our calculators, we could do that really quickly. Ah, oh, nice. Our equivalent is equal to 1 ohm. That makes it really easy. I'm glad it's a 1 ohm. Sheer coincidence, I'm sure. So we have this over here. We have our current divider formula. We're going to use that. We want to find Ix current going through Rx. We have the source current. As we said before, it's going to be 1 amp. We're going to multiply that by our equivalent, which we found is 1 ohm, over Rx, which the problem gave us as 1 ohm, plus our equivalent again, which is 1 ohm. Now we do that on our calculator, and we get 0 0.5 amps. And that's how you use a current divider. Now, current dividers are very similar to voltage dividers. You're just using them whenever you see a circuit and some configuration shows up like this. Now, you might be thinking, OK, but when am I ever going to see a current source in a circuit? Because you might be early on in circuits and never seen current sources before. Um, sometimes you can see current sources. Or if you have a voltage source and you see that this could be used, you can turn it in to a current source. And that's Norton's theorem. But that's another video. That's all we're doing today is current dividers. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Adam with HKN. I hope you learned something.